What is up guys, Cars Across Texas here today and we are at Velocita and All Exotics Meet and I apologize for the windswept look. The boy Sinclair Photos came back from College Station because he missed me so much. Wanted to come say hello. Pick me up. We're out at Velocity now. Should be a ton of cool cars here. I'm pretty sure the McLaren Senna GTR is going to be here. So there's that. And uh, let's get down to business. All right, this GT2 RS is something I haven't seen, but everything else is the same thing that's at every other Houston supercar show. But this is very nice. I like that a whole lot. It's the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> 600 LT, another car with a bunch of stickers all over it, unfortunately. Um, but I do like that spec a whole lot if they were to remove the stickers, the chalk on like the black and gold stripes. It's really nice. Very nice golf liveried classic Porsche. And this is the first Singer Porsche ever made right here. Would you pay over a million dollars for a classic Porsche? I personally wouldn't, but I see the appeal. Um, very, very nice. Woo! That sounds really nice. Woo! The first gen guy out is one of like the realistic cars I'd like to own at some point in the future. Particularly the first gen with the, uh, the 5 liter V10 instead of the 5.2. The ride exhaust, these sound like F1 cars. We got a, a, a slew of newcomers to the block. We got the Rolls Royce Cullinan. We got the McLaren GT, which is probably my favorite car here right now. An all black, black wheels, black brakes. And then a Huracan Evo, which in my opinion, is a big waste of money. Cleanest 996 Porsche on the block. The BBS center lock wheels. And the scrambled egg head headlights. Very nice. Starbucks, Starbucks, sponsor me. Sponsor me, please. I need it. Um, as I was getting my coffee, we got a radical that pulled up. The little puppy German Shepherds. Oh my goodness. Hello, puppies. Hello. <laughs> uh, fun fact for you the only reason I actually came out here is for the Frenchies. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. It's the crazy big wing ZR1 with meth and all that stuff. Oh my god, that wing is so crazy. And we got Aaron in the Urus. Ooh, very nice R8 on the four center wheels. I see you, brother. Yes, sir. Sounds good. Oh, fees in there. Fees in the R8. He's big money move. I like those wheels a whole lot. We've got an old school Porsche. Yeah, it's a four center wheels, my friend. Old Target top Porsche. Um, we got a Mercedes A45 here, which uh, those aren't sold in the US. So there's that. Kind of cool to see out. Um, I saw a few of these when I was over in England a couple years ago. But never one here. Chara Mansur Motorsports. All the way from uh, Morelos. Now, this is more my speed. C6 ZR1. Lots of work done to it. The racing seats inside complete with the harnesses and all the gauges you need and a fire extinguisher. Then back here. Sheesh, man, this thing is crazy. So, these style wheels right here, the CCW sort of look, I'm very picky on cars. I, I don't like them on many cars, but the Terminator is one of the few cars that pulls these wheels off exceptionally well. Well done, sir. And then we got the C7 ZR1 which is probably the fastest car in this parking lot right now. Aside from maybe the ZR1. I think I'm gonna put more dogs in this video than I'm gonna put cars. Cause look at this puppy. Oh my gosh, hello. <laughs> 
So as many of you might be able to tell from my uh, my videos and commentary at these supercar shows, I'm not a huge fan of the Huracan, but I do really like the hood design here. We've got a few other new additions to the show as well, including this uh, white 720 Spider. Very nice, uh, very dirty as well, clearly driven like it's supposed to be. And uh, also, a good indication on the side, we've got She's Without Fear and then No Garage Queens. Should tell you how the car is driven. And then an ultraviolet GT3 RS. And then a white Gallardo with purple brakes. I really like this look actually. The purple brakes look really cool on the white. Very nice. This 570 is really, really nice pulling up. I very much like this, very much indeed. Ooh, it sounds really good too. Bad UFO. Ooh, ultraviolet GT3 RS number two at the show. I don't know. Mucho bueno, senor. Bye bye, very nice GT2 RS. Uh, rolling out big baller Borsch. You a burnout, send it. <laughs> This would be a pretty sick daily. Get a DME tune and a, make it crackle and be a quick boy. Alrighty, uh, let's say uh, 20,000 likes, something unachievable like that. I buy one of these and I LS swap it. Make it happen. Very, very nice classic Testarossa, man. Don't get much more classic than a. Uh, very clean Rosso Testarossa. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Mustang's like doing a burnout down there. <laughs> Go, cutouts are open now. Respect you, my man. Six speed V12 Vantage, I like it. He's owning it up. He just hopping in the Lambo. <laughs> yeah, youngest billionaire on earth right there. <laughs> McLaren now, wow, what a billionaire. He owns all the cars. He brought out the collection at six. <laughs> At six years old, I owned a McLaren. The Huracan Evo and the McLaren GT are rolling out. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. That's what I like to hear right there. We got Mr. IX Exotics himself. And a Lamborghini. D3 Motorsports rolling out in the R8. Oh, yeah. Adios. I was trying to wave and I stuck my, my finger out. And I, I, the only finger that I could stick out was my middle finger, so I just accidentally... I just accidentally flipped them off. <laughs> Real nice. When the cuz hit the lottery, they buy exotics from Jalisco and another car from Jalisco. Alrighty guys, 
guys. That was a, a little bit of a fail there. No Senna GTR. A couple other cool cards, though, so that was a nice little show. Uh, but now we're on our way to Lambo Houston to check out the McLaren Senna GTR, uh, which should be cool to see. And I also think the Porsche dealership next door has a brand new Porsche taken to be in the first in the US, I believe. So let's get to it. It's the Porsche taken. So hop, skip, and a leap later, we are here at Porsche North Houston and Lamborghini Houston, where they have the all-new Porsche Taken electric, whatever the heck this is. And then next door, Lambo, they have the Senna GTR. So I'm gonna go check out some really expensive cars. Time to get my fancy boy, uh, fancy boy style on, I guess. Even though I'm windblown and look like a wild man, but uh, that thing's pretty sick. Let's take a look. This is the all-new Porsche Taken. Taycan. I don't know how to say it right. Taycan Turbo. There we go. Reminds me of like a 911 and a Pan America kind of had a baby. And now you get this. I actually really like this. Kind of got like the headlights up front and the four door aspect from the Pan America, but then it has like a sloping back end where it, uh, has a regular truck, like a, a trunk. Wow, sorry, I can't talk. Has a regular trunk. Only thing I changed are uh, the factory wheels are a little questionable, but that's always replaceable. And I, I really like the uh, the whole light bar on the back. It says Porsche in the back. Had to come take a peek inside at this orange GT2 RS. The thing is sick. The first thing that caught my attention when we pulled up because it's it's a bright color in person. And we got the. Porsche that none of y'all have probably ever heard of. The 924 GTR. Old school. Looks like it uses like a rally car or something. Um, 17 of these made. One of 17 in the whole world. Got the wheels made to cool the brakes off and all that. Race car interior. Fire extinguisher back here. The full roll cage, of course. This thing is sick. Yeah. Horse taking turbo rolling out. guys so I, I actually lied to y'all it's time to be picking up my new car here at Lambo Houston um, I was buying my Lambo at 20 years old it's my 21st birthday gift to myself there it is no I'm just kidding we're here to check out the Senna GTR so let's hop inside real quick uh, this thing is gonna be pretty crazy it has an even bigger wing than the regular Senna does and that's already like the stock car king of the wings so without further ado let's hop inside and check it out before I show you uh, what we came here for, we got the 599 GTO. This thing is super sick in a V12. And then right behind me, bam, Cine GTR. Sheesh. This thing is crazy. This thing is so nutty. Just all sorts of different carbon fiber canards and that wing back there. Oh my god. It's enough wing to uh, send you flying to Australia, man. I mean, it's crazy. And you, of course, you got the uh, fiberglass windows with the movable little slide door thing. Written on the big front splitter, a GTR. Just so you know, this is no ordinary Senna. It's a Senna GTR. Bam. This thing is so crazy. It's just, McLaren took a car that was like already just a huge rolling middle finger to everyone that sees it on the road and made it like a two middle fingers side by side. And this one is particularly spec to be like an Ayrton Senna tribute car. The double cannon exhaust back there and that thing's crazy. On GTR under the wing once again and uh, Senna on top. It's all meant to pay homage to Ayrton Senna, the late great Formula One driver for McLaren, with his helmet and the Brazilian flag colors. Just in case you didn't know, another little badge that says GTR. 
So, something I totally didn't realize until AJ just pointed it out. The Senna GTR right here. He also owns that Senna and the portrait back there. So, that's how you know you rich rich when you get the Senna and then the Senna GTR. Alright, so not only is the Senna GTR the king of the wings, it's also the king of the freaking diffusers. Look at that. Sheesh. All right, as we say goodbye to the $2.75 million track car, the Senna GTR. Take one more look at this crazy livery it's got on. The Brazilian themed Ayrton Senna inspired racing helmet on the back. This thing is absolutely insane.